Hi everyone, good evening. All right, so I know some of you guys haven't heard the word homework um, for several years unless you're in college or high school or things like that or taking some classes or maybe someone's used the word homework for you. Um, but I am going to give you guys a homework assignment. And this was something that was really, really important to me at the Black Status Retreat. It is a exercise that we did and it really opened up my perspective of who I've become as a leader, um, what things are holding me back as a leader, and some of the things that sometimes we don't realize have had such an impact on us and that we've repressed them and things like that to the point that we're struggling today and don't realize why we're struggling. Does that make sense? Um, and so, sorry, I just like downed a cough drop so that, so I have like little crystals in my mouth. So this is called the mountain and the valleys workshop. Okay. And this is something that I want you guys to prepare for me. And, um, let's see, it's Tuesday, maybe on Friday, we will evaluate this because I really want to give you guys some time to really dig deep with this. Um, we had a couple weeks as well to dig deep with this. But I really want you guys to pay attention to this. And I want you guys, um, in fact, anybody that participates in this, I'm going to be doing a drawing for some sort of incentive. Because this really, um, it means a lot to me and it's something that's really going to help you. In fact, I did this with one presenter today already on our team. Um, and because she was asking for help and we did it and I saw the excitement and the aha moments that she's had already and I was like, okay, she was kind of my guinea pig to see if I was gonna do this. It worked out amazing for her and she's just on the verge of it so we're gonna do it with the team as well, all right? So what we're going to do is simply this. Every single one of you, I want you to grab a piece of paper or something and draw a number line on it, okay? Starting from zero when you were first born and then have it go up in increments of five until basically how old you are. Like right now, I'll be 36 next month, so I went up uh, to the age of 40, okay? So I want you to draw this on a piece of paper, on a big piece of cardboard, anything possible because this is going to be your worksheet and your homework for the next couple days. I also want you to draw a positive with a circle up on top and a negative on the bottom with a circle. Again, by doing this assignment with me and doing this, I am going to be rewarding some people because I really have that much impact with this and I know it's going to help. So we are going to, with this number line, we are going to identify the events in your life or career that have been milestone events, meaning that these were significant or life-changing events and the type of things someone in um, like a, a book writing club would write about you. Does that make sense? Like something about your biography. And these events can be highly positive or a highly negative. If they're positive events, we are going to write them above the number line, and if they were negative events, we're gonna put them underneath here. So for instance, I'm going to do one for you, um, and what you're going to do is basically take like a marker or something. Sorry, I don't have my tripod down here. All right, so we're gonna do something, I'm gonna go um, well, let's right away, right here, something positive was I found unique around the age of 30, right? Um, I Something that was also positive is I hit black status. Okay, uh, something that was severely negative, so the line down here for negative was I had a bad breakup, suicide, attempt, uh, in my 20s, my parents got divorced, uh, 
Um, something positive between 15 and 20, graduation. Are you starting to see the idea behind this? You're putting your positive things above and your negative things below, okay? Uh, for instance, I'm gonna draw a line like here to here, and I'm gonna put, <coughs> excuse me, childhood abuse, emotion. And I'm also going to put something along the lines of family abuse so that I can kind of symbolize what I remember of my childhood basically where my dad I can put that on here as well dad alcoholic um, just some things like that that I don't really like to talk about um, but I want you to get as detailed with this as possible now when I first started this I really started doing lots of negatives below and I had a hard time which I think some of you guys will as well determining what your positives were but again these are going to be things that if someone were to write a book about you what they would say were some of these milestone events okay um, let's see here also when you get done with doing this I want you to kind of ask yourself what values were present or honored that made it so satisfying to you. Like for instance, with mine hitting black status, I finally felt accepted. I finally felt loved. I felt part of a community, um, things like that. With Unique, it helped my self-worth. Um, you know, um, trying to think of different things. Graduation again was acceptance the feeling of accomplishment things like that um, and then for all the negative ones as well you know ask yourself what values were absent or threatened you know that made it so unsatisfying so like for instance my bad breakup like I lost that sense of um, acceptance or betrayal um, or feeling of self-doubt um, instead of self-worth things like that um, and then some of these values that you come up with might lead to something deeper like you might think that oh it made me a you know when I had the bad breakup it made me realize that family was really crucial to me but why is family really crucial to you because maybe you have a deeper self uh, worth with it that you know it's more of feeling accepted and a sense of belonging or things like that like basically what I want you to get out of this as as you go through this what are your core values if something was missing out of your life you know whether it's positive or negative if something was missing out of your life would it basically could you live without it could you live without it you know, if you didn't, like for me, for instance, I can't live without acceptance. And so if my life doesn't have acceptance in it, I'm a mess. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions about this? And I trust me when I say that I know it sounds silly and you're like, what the heck? Like, isn't our job just to sell makeup? Trust me when I say this is going to be an aha moment for you because of the fact we learned at the Black Status Retreat that sometimes between the ages of three and seven, our life is really, really molded. And I learned, in fact, I'm just gonna kinda give you this. You guys just saw me right up there, childhood abuse, and how I witnessed my dad, who's now a recovered alcoholic, and my mom fight nonstop, beat the crap out of each other to the point until I was big enough to get in the way, I would witness this. And I would go and I would hide. When things got tough, I, hide, I hid. And the thing I'm learning about being a leader now is that when things get tough, I wanna hide. 
I want to remove myself from things. And this is this little exercise, as silly as this exercise sounds, is really going to power you guys to find out what kind of fears are holding you back in this business. You can be a, a good salesperson, you can have a good job, you can have all that kind of stuff, but if you have some kind of underlying problem, it's going to be reflected in your sales and in your sponsoring and in your business in general, okay? Trust me, this was a huge aha moment. So for all of you guys that are tuning on, please go back to the beginning of this video and watch the requirements. Again, I'm asking for something simple. I'm not going to have you post them unless you really want to, which would be very empowering, I think, for some people. For other people, they don't want to share. Maybe there's history of sexual abuse. Maybe there's history of a bunch of things that you don't want to bring up and I'm not asking you to do that. I'm not trying to be your therapist, but I'm asking you behind closed doors to look at your fears and start to develop almost what your vision is with this company. What keeps you pretty much with this company because there's got to be something that's satisfying to you that up here you're able to look at it with your core values. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions? Oh, of course it says 10 comments so far and I can't see any of them. Man alive, it was letting me do it earlier and now it's not letting me again. Okay, well I'll finish this, I'll go back and look at the comments, um, but if you have any questions, please let me know and I will post like an actual picture of this exercise that we actually did, okay? All right, we'll talk to you soon.